I heard about the British Museum doing this, but oh my gosh, just how he lays it out is just too funny. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite boy from the Midwest, Ethan. And today we're going to be checking out a new comedian that I've never checked out before. A lot of you guys have requested for me to do this. His name is James Ackester. Ackester? And the title of the video is On the Absurdity of the British Empire. I just got done doing an Almer reaction, name a place we've defeated him. Go check out that video if you haven't. Anyway guys, the title is what really caught my attention on this one, especially after doing that Al Murray video. It really caught my attention and I thought it would be a great way to compliment Al Murray's video. Anyway guys, you all know what to do. Let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video. Jump right into this reaction video and check out James Ackester. A long time ago, but not long enough ago that it's not still very relevant. <laughs> Everyone in Britain got in a big old boat and we set sail and we robbed, and this will sound far-fetched, everyone in the world. <laughs> Do you remember that? What a spree that was. Do you remember the great heist? What a spree. <laughs> and we got all the swag, didn't we? And we took it back to old Blighty and we hid it, this is the clever part, we hid it in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard Britain Cart or Blighty. I gotta pause real fast and just comment on this guy's color scheme. It's like everything's made to match his hair. I don't know. It's like, I mean, I know I know all the colors are just a tad different, but it's like very, very close. Last place anyone looks. Yeah, who goes to museums? Now it's modern day. And all the countries who stole stuff from are asking for their stuff back. But uh, don't look worried. We're totally saying the blanket, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, Very if you British. and you are sitting there, I can see your angry faces, like, so what? Fighters keep us shut up! And... <laughs> Wait, isn't that the British motto? <laughs> Listen, huh? in your defence, fighters keep us shut up has worked very well for us so far. <laughs> Against all those have knocked out of the park, fighters keep us shut up. But even you got to admit, right? If someone stole something off you as an individual, it's your favourite thing, and they nicked it, and you knew who had nicked it, by the way. For a fact, not a hunch. <laughs> you know who's stolen it. Everybody knows. It's common knowledge. Some people have written books about it. They have definitely nicked it off you. <laughs> you go to ask for it back, and they're just standing there. They're not even running away. They're twice your size. They ain't scared. They haven't even bothered to hide it. They've done the opposite of hiding it, actually. They've put it in a glass display case. <laughs> it's lit from seven different angles, real clear what it is. There's no dispute it's the same thing that once belonged to you, because there's a plaque next to it. <laughs> so it's exactly what it is at the top of the plaque, and then a paragraph underneath about how important it is to you and your culture. <laughs> oh my gosh. You... I heard about the British Museum doing this, but oh my gosh, just how he lays it out is just too funny. You'd be forgiven for thinking, mm, I'm pretty sure they haven't got a leg to stand on here. <laughs> Probably gonna take this home today. They must have been so confident, all them countries, when they asked for their stuff back. Just walking up to Britain, saying to their friends, wait in the car, don't even need you. <laughs> Be back in a jiffy, mate. Hey, man. Uh, a while ago, a lot of your ancestors stole loads of stuff from my ancestors? Yeah. I'm here to take them home. Let's write this wrong. What do you say? They must have thought the British person at the door was going to go, absolutely, you can have them back. We stole them, after all. <laughs> no. But instead, we went, I don't think so. <laughs> We're still looking at it. <laughs> and then they probably charge them to go into the museum to check out their own country's artifacts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, just looking at it these days. And there's a lot of other people who haven't seen it yet we'd quite like to show it to. So, not right now, selfish. <laughs> Don't sulk about it. Look, no, it's no hard feelings, mate. Hey, you can look at it. Come on in. Have a look. Have a look. <laughs> Seem familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Stand behind the rope. Why the British Museum is so busy all the time. No British people ever go in there. It's full of people from abroad looking at their own stuff. <laughs> Swalking in the corridors, oh. reminiscing about the good old days. Then I imagine just openly robbing the gift shop at the end. That is one all, you punks. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was too funny. I'm really glad I checked this out. I'm, obviously, this is just a little clip of some of his bits, but I definitely want to check out more of his stuff. But I just gotta say, like, the whole, like, putting 
artifacts that you've taken from other countries in a museum where everyone can see them with the plaque. That's just such like such a ballsy move. It's just insane. It's just that, oh my gosh, the English history is just so interesting. I don't know if there's many other countries that like openly brag about like all the countries they've invaded or inhabited or colonized or taking all these artifacts and precious jewels and stuff and sticking them in their own country's museum. I mean, not, not, not many other countries would get away with it, but because it's England for some reason, they do. And it, I mean, it is, it is really funny. It's definitely interesting and I really don't think another country could pull it off. Uh, it's just something unique with England. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for recommending this to me. If you guys want me to do more stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Comment below what you thought of the video. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please be safe, take care, and look after one another.